everybody, this is your boy Kenneth reporting from the K2 Spot giving you all a brand new video and today it is on the just released EP from my called Sweet 16. Now I know a lot of you guys are wondering, okay, I thought Maya um, released an EP before in February. Well, she did. If you guys can see the review I did on the one she did drop on Valentine's Day called With Love. That was a love EP for those that didn't, you know, if you didn't hear that EP, you know, you could just check my video on it. It'll say, you know, have the cover on it. It'll show you. But this EP, this is the second EP from Maya. And this is more like a spring I said like a spring EP and since it's the 16th and since February had made 16 years since she dropped, you know, It's All About Me, her first, her very first single that you guys probably remember from 1998 featuring Cisco, who was in the group, um, Drew Hill. But as far as this, like the Sweet 16 EP, I can tell you it's six songs. I know a lot of you guys are wondering, okay, is she, because the With Love EP that you guys saw, if you didn't see it, you can check it out. That one was more like a love R&B, you know, soul one. This one's R&B soul too, but it has, you know, it has mixes of, you know, you have your up-tempo songs, but you got your uh, seductive songs, but I'm going to go into all six songs. I'm going to break them down for you and give you just the complete truth. Now, track number one is called Superwoman. If you guys haven't heard, probably might have heard the snippets if you're following Maya on Instagram and probably hearing, you know, see her stuff on SoundCloud. S Superwoman, very empowering female anthem, and just you know, saying she's more than just a pretty face, and you know, just saying that not just because of her looks, it's all about her personality and what she stands for as a woman, and showing that she's not just a pretty face that just it's just a pretty face because you know, some some people may say, Oh, I'm just because they think they're a pretty face, they think they're better than everybody, but she's showing I'm a pretty face, but at the same time, I have a mind of my own, and I'm and I'm Superwoman, and I think that's just how any woman wants to feel and just how you feel period about your personality and your you know confidence level now track number two on the other hand a song called cherry lips when i heard that song it was very seductive very flirty it gave me like a janet jackson type of vibe you know with just flirting with being seductive we you know with her um with maya's voice so i felt like she was flirting with, um you know with the song and i thought it was a good way of you know of getting her point across and I was like, okay, Maya, like, you really feel me. Like, it just took me back, you know, from the old material that she did. No, her previous albums, I should say. But I think that song you guys are going to really love, Cherry Lips. Now, same page is featuring Eric Bellinger. Shout out to you, Eric Bellinger, because I'm a fan of yours, and you know that. When you hear this song, it's a relationship song, but I feel more like it's a very love record where both sides, you know, from the male perspective and the female perspective, when you hear the song... It's talking about how they both love each other and explaining why um, they're on the same page and how, you know, they get along together. And I feel like it was cool, you know, putting Maya and Eric's um, vocals together. And you got to hear the man's perspective and the woman's perspective being on the same page and how they just gel and they just get along and how things work out. So that's the same page featuring Eric Bellinger if you're keeping up with me right now. Track number four is called Right Now. That's a very fun, up-tempo club record. Now, we're used to my, you know, giving us a mixture of all the above, but that song, Straight to the Point Club Banger right now, I feel like it was just very fun, but at the same time, I feel like you could get on the dance floor and it's just something that you could listen to with your friends or just party along with. Because I feel like that could be a party anthem, if you want my honest opinion. Now, as far as track number five, Money, is, or as I say, M-O-N-E-Y, oh goodness, Miss Maya, she broke it down saying, talking about her love for money and talking about making her own money and how no man's gonna, um, you know, doesn't, she don't need, really need a man to, make, you know, um, to show that she can make her own money. But at the same time, I feel like she was going to a point where in the song, I'm talking, I don't know this, how she really feels, um, personally, but just in the song from what it was stating, it was just saying she loved the smell of money to the way, how money feels in her pocket. But at the same time saying that she doesn't need nobody to wave money or just, show off their money, you know, show off any money to her to make her feel like it's supposed to make her do anything. I feel more like I could be wrong on that, but it's just the impression that I took from it. But I think you guys will like that one. That's it. That's money. Track number five. The last track, number six, is Unbreakable featuring Mike Check. And that's Mike, like the, the guy named Mike and Check. 
Okay, that song, I feel more like, when you hear that song, you're going to hear Maya talking about how, you know, she was in the song talking about how she felt like in a relationship, you know, when it was over with, you know, you had a breakup, you know how first you, and just, I think anybody feels, you know, you feel like you're upset, you cry, or however you do, you maybe you cry, you get upset, or you just, because you feel like you, you're, you know, like, you can't believe that this breakup actually happened, but at the same time. You know, you cry for a little bit, but then at the same time, you pick up the pieces and you get yourself back together. And it's saying, you're not going to let nobody break you down, which you're unbreakable. So nobody can make you feel like that and that you shouldn't, um, you know, let nobody, you know, bring you down because of a breakup. Because you know how they say, how uh, if it doesn't work out, you know, there's somebody else, you, you can always go into a different, another relationship. But at the same time, mentally, you want to feel like, you know that you're you want to work on yourself and make sure you don't feel unbreakable and you bring that into another relationship and i felt like that was a smart track that Maya did and then the um rapper mike check did a great job you know t rapping about his points on that and i feel like overall you guys are gonna really like feel you know very much this album because of the sweet 16 ep very relating I can really give this, this is right up there with the e, the With Love EP. So I think if you guys haven't heard With Love, I feel like it's a continuation of With Love, but I feel more like it's more flirty, but give you more of the uh, temple, club, R&B, soul, mixture all together. And shout out to you, Maya, if you're watching this video, you did a great job with Sweet 16 EP like you did with With Love. And hopefully you guys will love it and just... Make sure you get it on iTunes and any other digital outlets that, you know, that is going to appear at. And if you want to keep up with Maya, you can. She's on Twitter at Miss Maya. And if you want to follow her on Instagram, she's on Instagram at Kiss Maya. And make sure you guys like this video. If you like what you've heard and what I how I explained the EP, even if you already heard it or probably haven't heard it yet, you want to get familiar with it, make sure you guys like this. If, you, if it helped you out and want to listen to it more. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share, you know, all your social media sites that you guys have. And, you know, comment. Let me know what you guys think about Sweet 16 EP from Maya. Do you feel like she, even though it's a springtime type of um, rep EP, did you guys feel like she delivered it? You know, what are your favorite songs? Because my favorite songs are Superwoman, Cherry Lips, and Same Page. I love all the songs, but the three that are my favorite is Superwoman, Cherry Lips, Same Page. Now, Unbreakable, Money, and Right Now, all great songs, but just my top three are just the first three. But I feel more like for those that who are going through, you know, need something to uplift them, this is the um, EP you need to get right now. Definitely get this EP. And you know what? You can have, you know, you can feel, have the process of healing, you know, from anything that you've gone through. Or, you know, you want something to have, you know, have a good time listening to record-wise. But you can get it if you want to keep up with yours truly with what I do on any video like this video or any other video I've done. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at KTooks. This show that you're watching, the KTooks Spot, you can follow it on Twitter at KTooks Spot. And you know what? That's um, you can just make sure you and also you can subscribe. Let me make sure it's a major thing. If you like this video, or any other video I've done. Subscribe, just push the subscribe button and anytime I release a video, you will be very well known and very and be one of the first ones to know what's going on. Immediately, like once YouTube you subscribe to me, the news feed will send to you on YouTube immediately once I upload something. And hopefully you guys have a blessed one and you'll see more videos pretty soon. So this is your boy Kenneth signing off from the K2 spot.